and we're back to learning Photoshop in a year. Let me show you the basics of the color replacement tool. You can find it right here where the brush tool is. So B is the shortcut for this toolbox. Right click on it. And the third option is the color replacement brush. So it's yet again a simple brush where you can adjust the size, the hardness, which feathers out the edges and the spacing. If this is totally new to you, check out my playlist. I've already explained the brush basics. And we want to talk about the modes in this video, as there are four modes. And then we copy the original four times. And as the modes, we have color, we have hue, we have luminosity, and saturation. And obviously the one below that was our original, so let me rename that too. We want to select the top layer, in this case color. Black is my foreground color. And I've got the replacement to active. And if I now left click drag, you can see this actually changes the color from this blue to a dark gray. If I change that to red, I'll paint over it. It's going to give me the red color. But you can also see it has an edge detection. But it depends a little bit on the contrast if this works well or not. For example, for the dark color it worked, for red color here it doesn't work at all. If I use a softer red, it's a little bit better, but still for a clean result you would have to size down this brush and go over the edges a little bit more in detail. So this would be the color mode. Let us switch to hue. I'm going to use the same reddish color, paint over it, and the result is a little bit different. And that's because now it only tries to adjust the hue. So it's going to leave the saturation and the brightness unaffected. And that will be the result. If we only want to affect the saturation, you can see in this step, it doesn't do much. Even though I've got a red color selected. We don't see any reds because it only takes the saturation of the red color. That can be found right here where it says S and it's usually left to right in this color swatch. If I go to 1%, it's going to desaturate all of the colors that it touches here. So you can see if I drag it to the right, it's 100% and to the left, it's 1%. Got a red color selected with 100% saturation, paint over it, and we don't see many reds. It just cranks up the saturation for the colors, for the hue that's already there. Luminosity, that's basically the brightness. In this case, it's going to get darker. And then the color swatch brightness can be found under B and it's top to bottom. So 100 would be at the top and 1 would be at the bottom. And here again, I use a reddish color. It doesn't add any reds or so. It just changes the brightness of the colors that are already there. And let's talk a little bit more about the edge detection. Because when I use an image like this, we have a very good contrast between these peppers and the background. And if I now, for example, sample a reddish color, I change the color mode to color and I'll paint over this. You can see this is going to leave the green somewhat unaffected because I'm only on the yellowish parts. And if I go over the edges, it also can detect where the background starts. It's not perfect though. If you want to have perfect results, you have to zoom in, size the brush down and go over the edges in detail. But for a quick 10 second result, this is not too bad. And that's all that I wanted to talk about when it comes to the basics of the color replacement tool. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.